outside the box during strawberry off season to bring in some cash and also let our community enjoy a new colorful crop. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit looks into why growers are now choosing to plant flowers. Acres and acres of beautiful flowers where strawberries used to be, and it's making passerbys want to stop. I drove by yesterday and it was beautiful. So I dressed my daughter up today and I'm like, let's go take some pictures. There are 10 acres of sunflowers and zinnias growing here at Berry Sweet Acres in East Hillsborough County, and the growers are letting customers come pick their own bouquets. Elena Helms brought her two daughters. I want to do something with my girls. Um, I, I say, let's go pick some flower. Um, they never know. We had this beautiful flower. More and more strawberry growers are choosing to plant flowers during the off season. Typically, growers plant a cover crop in the summertime, then plow it under to fertilize the soil to prepare it for the strawberry season in the fall. Normally, we pay for our seed, our cover crop seed, um, and there's no money that comes back out of that. We just we put it, we plant it, and it puts the nutrients back into the soil. Um, this potentially we can make a little bit off of and still use as a cover. Crop. The flowers are a win-win, generating money during a time when profits are low and inflation is high. There has been a lot of inflations in material and labor um, throughout the years with growing strawberries, so we're trying to be more creative and think of new ideas of how we can help our farm be profitable. You pay a $2 entry fee and then you pay a set price for each flower that you pick. The plants are expected to be on the farm through the end of June. Coming up this weekend and next weekend they'll have yoga classes overlooking these gorgeous flowers. We'll have more details on our website abcactionnews.com. In East Hillsborough County, Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.